a black screen. All important movies begin with a black screen. But this is not an important movie. This is just some guy talking about a movie. And he's not that important. The movie is, but this video, you know, not so much. And it occurs to me that you're probably not going to get this joke if you haven't already seen the movie. Probably should have thought of that before I did this. Oh well. Fuck it. So I was fortunate enough to see an early... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was fortunate enough to see an early screening of the Lego Batman movie, directed by Chris McKay and starring way too many talented people than I could possibly mention in one video. This movie is, of course, about the Lego counterpart of the Batman, who works tirelessly to protect the good people of Gotham City from an army of criminals led by the Joker, with his amazing gadgets, great detective mind, and rock-hard abs. Seriously, he's got great abs. But things start to get a little difficult when the new police commissioner in town, Barbara Gordon, doesn't really agree with the Batman's vigilante ways. And through a wacky turn of events, he accidentally ends up adopting Dick Grayson and turns him into his sidekick Robin. And then it gets weird. So this probably won't surprise any of you, but this was really good. I enjoyed this one a lot. It's got a very good story that blends the Batman and Lego universes together quite well in the silliest of fashions, but in spite of its silliness, it does have a good heartfelt story about the value of teamwork and friendship. The people who made this movie clearly know the history of Batman and his various incarnations quite well. There's even a reference to the Robert Lowry Batman, which was awesome. And they crammed pretty much every freaking Batman villain into this movie. Even the Condiment King. Oh yeah, you heard me. And the only real downside to that is most of the villains don't really get a chance to do much because there are so goddamn many of them and the Joker pretty much has to take center stage. But they do at least get some good one-liners, and they are very funny. And as you might expect, it is irreverent as all hell. They really take the piss out of the Batman franchise in this movie. But you can tell it's coming from a place of love. It's not so much bashing as a good-natured roasting. And it's very clever. Will Arnett once again provides the voice of the Lego Batman, and this is a role that he was just born to play. He plays the character with a strong sense of justice, but also as kind of a self-absorbed jackass, and with a hilariously irrational hatred of Superman. He definitely wants what's best for Gotham City, but doesn't always have the best ideas on how to accomplish that. And he's also a bit of a loner, because he's afraid of letting anyone get close to him, since the last people he was close to were his parents, and, well, things did not turn out so well for them. He's a jerk, but he's also a sympathetic jerk, which is not easy to pull off, but this movie does it quite well. Michael Sarah provides the voice for Dick Grayson, aka Robin, and he is an annoying little shit, but unlike Chris O'Donnell, he's actually doing it on purpose. Rosario Dawson provides the voice for Barbara Gordon, who is a very strong and determined police commissioner who would like very much to work together with Batman if he could just stop being such a jerk for five minutes. I did find it interesting that Jim Gordon is the commissioner at the start of the movie, and when he retires, his daughter takes over. Seems like some pretty blatant nepotism, but no one really seems to care. Oh well. Ray Fiennes is pretty much perfect as Alfred. I have no complaints there. He nailed it. Zach Galifianakis provides the voice of the Joker, and he was... He was okay. I wouldn't say he's the best Joker I've ever seen, but he's not the worst either. And really, for the comedic tone that this movie was going for, he was fine. And although it's a pretty small part, Billy D. Williams does the voice of Two-Face. Finally, after all these years, he actually gets to play Two-Face. About damn time. Perfect casting. Now, as good as this movie is, I do have a bit of an issue with its pacing. The movie starts out with this friggin' huge action comedy sequence with virtually every Batman villain ever and the Batman swooping in and kicking all their asses, and it is 
funny as hell. I have not laughed that hard at a movie in a long time. It was amazing. Batman's fighting all these guys while at the same time singing this amazing song about how awesome he is, and the jokes and the references are just flying at you from all directions. The animation looks fantastic. They still got that pseudo stop motion thing going on, which looks every bit as good as it did in the Lego movie. It's amazing. I love that opening sequence. But after that opening sequence, the movie really slows down. It was honestly a little jarring. It wasn't really enough to take me out of the movie or anything. I still enjoyed it, still had plenty of funny moments. It just really felt out of place after that amazing opener. But eventually it does pick back up again when Batman sees Superman on the news. And man, does he hate Superman. And he gets this brilliant, or is it, idea about banishing the Joker to the Phantom Zone. And that is where this movie goes completely off the rails in the best way possible. It goes completely batshit insane, no pun intended. Well, maybe a little. And I won't go into too much detail because I think it works much better if you don't know what's coming. But holy shit, so good. So apart from the pacing, I really don't have many complaints. It was fantastic, it was very funny, and so cleverly done, and I just enjoyed the hell out of it. I can recommend this without hesitation, especially for Batman fans. I can't really comment on the 3D because my screening was in 2D, but I'm sure it looks fine, but it's at the very least worth a 2D ticket price. So it comes out on February 10th, and you should see it. Yes, you. And that's all I got to say about the Lego Batman movie, so until next time, take care.